Hey guys, um, that's my Discord. Don't worry. Uh, I got a bit of a shock yesterday. Um, if you check my um, YouTube channel here, go to the uh, streamed. You'll see that I streamed, and you'll see that a lot, and I mean a lot of my old viewers from Twitch came over to YouTube. As you know, I am now banned on Twitch. Uh, a really cool friend of mine um, who has some pull at Twitch said that he could get my channel back and I said to him, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, when I am, I'm still here with you. And so what I'm going to be doing is during that live stream, someone asked me a question of how do they get into uh, streaming on Twitch and, and YouTube and various other platforms. So this is what this video is about. This video is about how you can get into streaming, gaming, and, and various other things on Twitch, on YouTube, um, insert streaming platform here, uh, heck even, um, um, you know, Facebook gaming. Anymore. But the point is, this is what this is for. So unlike most uh, beginner uh, uh, tutorials or guides or whatever you want to call it, they all start and assume that you have specific things. I'm going from like the very beginning. So, and we're going to be doing this on an extreme budget. And I mean that. It, it, it's going to be on a very, very, very tight budget. And what I'm going to do, first things first is you bring up a notepad. So, with this notepad, you got to figure out what you need. So clearly, you need a PC. Okay, you need a web. You need a mic. You need a headset. Okay. Um. Display. I um, mean, like I said, you you need specific things. So what this tutorial is going to cover is the PC. Okay. We're not going to be covering the webcam. We're not going to be covering the mic or the headset or the display. We're just going to be covering the PC. We're literally starting at the beginning. And now what I'm going to be doing is, like I said, I'm going to be separating these videos into separate ones so you can pick which one you want uh, to look at to see where you're at uh, or what area you want to upgrade, things of that nature. So what we're going to do now is we're going to save this. Put that there. Now, if you are on a tight budget. Now bear in mind, I when I left North Carolina, when I left the US and moved back to the UK, I had to leave my PCs because they were just too heavy. And I'm a fan of taking what's old and just tweaking it, fixing it, flipping it, um, modifying it. Um, for the longest time, I even got into building my own computer cases. Um, out of some old metal shelving, I, 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 it was called the Big D Project. Again, links will be in, there, there's, there's videos here on the YouTube channel. But when I got back to the UK, I had nothing, literally nothing. So this is what I started with. I'm literally showing you what I started with. And in fact, that computer is right down here. Okay. So. The first thing I did was I hopped on Facebook Marketplace. Now, don't be afraid to hop on places like Facebook Marketplace. Okay. Now, Marketplace is pretty unique to your area. Now, again, I live in Reading. I don't hide that fact. I live in Reading. So if I wanted to buy a PC, you click on electronics and look, there's monitors, there's controllers there's there's there you go right there mid-range all black themed gaming pc would this be a good start let's take a look ryzen 3 3200g cpu radeon vega 8 gpu 16 gigabytes dual channel ddr4 250 gigabyte ssd one terabyte 700 watt power supply um no brand new case uh power supply ram and energy last ages apu motherboard is refurbished um 250 pounds or nearest offer now 
that's not too bad. That's not too bad, and it is near near me. I mean, these frames, let's see, Fortnite, um, 70 to 120 FPS. So if you're a Fortnite player, great. A Red, Dem Red Dead Redemption 2 low uh, slash ultra, so, so 40 FPS. Mm. So the graphics card clearly would need upgrading. Okay, so now what you could do is you could take... A look at this you could go down there with 250 pounds cash or contact them and say look i'm i'm really interested in your your rig you know this is the thing you've got to understand you can clearly see okay you can clearly see that there was a different graphics card in the machine because the slot's missing so clearly this guy's bought this machine just for the graphics card taking it out and he's trying to recoup some of his losses or in fact make a profit okay so you always want to take a look at all pictures available see yeah, see. Yeah, that's exactly what he's done. Yeah, he's taken the graphics card out. Because he mostly just wanted the graphics card. See. Not a bad little rig. Not a bad little start. Okay, so you could do this route. Or we could do the route I'm about to show you. Now, when it comes to... Ooh, dude, bro. Clean your graphics cards. Just... Anyway. This is what you need to start with. And you're thinking, a Dell? The hell? Now, now, this is a Dell Optimix 7000 series. This is your stereotypical Dell that you're going to see at your dentist's office, that you're going to see at your local high school, in the principals, you know, the, the, and whatnot, or in, an, or in a, a work office environment. Now, the reason why is because when you are gaming and streaming, you are moving a very large amount of data that needs to be encoded, decoded, transcoded, you name it. And so the CPU needs to be up there. Okay? And I mean, up there as in features. Like uh, MMXME, um, you need to have H.264, you need to have all these uh, uh, protocols and, 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 and microcode protocols that some older processors just don't have. Even with micro patches, uh, even with BIOS updates, they're still not going to have them, okay? Because it's just on the hardware, on on, on a hardware level, it's just not going to have them. And you can software emulate them. That's what emulators do. They can soft try, try to emulate those that hardware features, but you're going to come into stability issues. You're going to come into frame frame rate issues. You're going to come into a whole bunch of other issues. So now. This is a refurbished model because Dell does not make the Optimex 720 anymore. They make the 750 still, and the 750 is being phased out. But the 720 is where you want to go. But a couple of key features, one of which is the processor, i7-4770. Yes, it is, an, it is a dated processor, but it still has a lot of modern features you're going to need, like H.264 encoding for, for Twitch. It also has various other things that you're also going to need, like 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gigabyte SSD. And a pre pre new Windows 10 Pro key. So you're getting an operating system, a 512 gigabyte SSD with room to expand. So you can choose at a later date to put more hard drives in there. Okay? To mass storage for your music, your images, your screenshots, your... YouTube, your YouTube video clips, things of that nature. Okay, you've got all the expansion room in the world. Okay, software like, like hard drives, wise. But that 16 gigs of RAM, I know for a fact that that motherboard can be upgraded to 32 gigs, and it even has the extra RAM slots in it. So, that being said, so it's literally for uh, under 200 pounds, a powerhouse of a little. PC of what you need has an optical drive in it so if you're old school and you want to play some older PC games or just use it to watch movies in even it'll make a little good HDCP PC in your living room you know have it hooked up via HDMI to your TV pop a DVD in there boop, 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 done you know have it hook up into your sound bar 7.1 beautiful beautiful you know and it's not gonna. It's not gonna have heating issues. It's not gonna because literally you're not gonna be overclocking it. You're not gonna be get you. And that's the thing. You can actually overclock these machines. The BIOS in these. Okay, you can revert the BIOS back a couple of revisions. I didn't, but you can if you want to. And unlock certain features like RAM RAM overclock, CPU minus CPU overclocks, things of that nature. 
its only limiting factor is the case and the start and, and the cooler that comes with it. Now, what I mean by that is, if you overclock the CPU, clearly it's going to generate more heat. The Dell to cut corners and to save money put the bare minimum amount of cooling that's required to keep the machine alive. Okay, so it it it, it is what it is. So I actually have this PC still right here in a different chassis. Now, you can modify the chassis or case, take it out, but when you do, the cooler is part of the original case. What I mean is it screws directly into the case itself. So when you take that out the case, also you're going to need to buy an adapter for the power supply unit, and, and it's a pain in the butt. We'll get to that later on when you choose and ready to upgrade. So now... How are we going to upgrade this machine? So you get it, you're editing YouTube videos, and you notice that, hang about, graphics aren't all the best. Let's get a graphics card. This is what you want to get. This is what's known as a low-profile graphics card. One of the problems, okay, one of the problems with this case is its width. It is tiny. It's like this. Okay? It's literally less than five inches. Okay, it is ridiculously slim. Okay, and because of that, full size graphics cards like this will not fit, they just won't fit. Okay, plus it doesn't have the power, it doesn't have the grunt to power a graphics card like that because the power supply in is only barely enough to run the processor. Like I said, thank you, Dell. Now, so you're going to want to use a graphics card that's got some grunt to it and will let you play some games now you're thinking wait it's a 7 series card yes it's it is a gt 730 you can get the 750 as well i got my 750 over at cex here in the uk but i'm assuming some of you guys aren't in the uk so you've clearly got amazon so go to amazon plus it's brand new if there's any issues you can send it back it's a two gig card it has multiple outs so depending on what display port you've got etc cetera, etc cetera, you're golden. Okay, you are golden. But this card is low profile, passive cooling, which means it's going to, or it, the fans that are in the case itself help cool. Okay, and you can actually play a lot of free to play titles on it. So League of Legends, um, World of Tanks, uh, on, on low settings, for World of Tanks. But uh, War Thunder, even, you can actually put War Thunder up to about medium settings on this thing this graphics card and it actually plays really good you get about 45 you get about 45 to 50 frames uh, per second in it which isn't that bad for a card of this size it's not that bad at all and so you can get some good content some good clips and various other things and it will fit in that it will fit in this case okay so you've got a really good graphics card now and comparatively to the onboard graphics okay and you're running 16 gigs of ram and so Got a really good fast operating system drive, and it's a it's a good all round little gaming PC. It really is. It's 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 up there, and and it works. You know, so let's say you want to move out. Say you want to start upgrading. Now you've gotten to the point where you've saved, been saving your shekels, you've been saving your your, your money, and now you want to start upgrading. Okay, so you want to go from this to something else. So my suggestion to you is before you start looking at hopping on the Facebook marketplace and buying a bigger rig and everything else and whatnot and forgetting about this poor little bugger, look at what this guy has. Okay, say, say to yourself, okay, I can't harvest the motherboard because, you know, unique power supply, unique, you know, you, you, you know uh, um, Dell only power supply, Dell only switches. Yes, Dell only switches. If you try to take some of the switches off this motherboard, it just doesn't work. It just does not work. Will not work. Legit just stops working. I am not even joking. Okay, I'll even show it to you. This, that said Dell. Okay. This is that said Dell. Okay. 
Notice this. That is the front USB hub. You cannot take that off. If you take that off, it breaks the motherboard. There's also an anti tamper switch. Super glued shut. If that's open, it's like a case detector. If it's left open, okay, breaks the motherboard. You can try to, to short out the, the, the pin header on it. Guess what? Get it wrong? Breaks the motherboard. Now, you're thinking, hang about, if it's got a proprietary, that's what it If it's got a proprietary power supply, how do I have it hooked up to a Corsair X430? But that's simple. Proprietary motherboard, you can buy adapters for it. I'm not even joking. Here, let me show you. Of course. It, again, this is an old machine. I'm getting ready to... to waste it but uh anyway but here it is why Buy ones like these. Simple adaptable. board. Let's you power by a PC with an eight power supply. Okay. That is how you get past Dell's proprietary and only use our power supply. That won't brick the board. That won't brick the other board. Now I did, as you can see. Put in a stock Dell, uh, a stock Intel, sorry, not Dell, Intel uh, cooler. Now, that PC I used is my Netflix box, my HDMI. Like I said, it, work, it works great as, as a entertaining, as an entertainment uh, box. It works great. Now, notice it's not in the Dell case. And take it out the case eventually but point is you can also start looking at upgrading motherboards because you can still reuse the processor and the ram and the hard drive okay just because the motherboard is no good for you anymore so what e-waste it don't need the case anymore e-waste it okay now you're gonna need a power supply here you go evga 750 best bang for your buck this will be future-proof all the way up to graphics cards like the 1660 Super. Because now you can shop around and get yourself a, uh, an 1151 motherboard. Okay, so let's... Actually, let's go to eBay, shall we? Go to eBay. It's an 1151 board. Okay. So, here you go. There's an Asus board for 50, for 50 bucks right there. Pre-owned. Even comes with... Let's see, what has it got? Okay, this is the DDR4 model. So you, you'll have to buy new RAM. But... Is the... No, is it, no, that's an 1150. Sorry, not 1151. It's 1150. Wrong number. 50. There we go. So... You can easily pick up... A new motherboard... On the cheap. Here you go. This is actually a good one. This Asus. Uh, um, oh, wow. Yeah, this is the H81 Gamer. Yeah, this is a really good board. Um, for ah, It's a bit only. Yeah. But the point is, you can you can get good boards. And as you can see, RAM upgrade modules. There's four slots. Any cooler will fit on it. Your power supply will fit on it. And it can have a bunch of... of, of Graphics cards, capture cards. This would be a major jump forward for you if you are a Twitch streamer or if you are a YouTube content creator. That would be where you'd want to go. Okay. Um. So now we've got the power supply. You're gonna need a case. Okay. So, and this is the thing. A lot of people assume that DDR3, DDR4 RAM is going to be expensive. It's not expensive. Here you go. This is a 16 gig kit. Take that 16 gig kit. Add it to the 16 that you've already got. You're now up to 32 gigs of RAM. That's all the RAM you're ever going to need for most games. 
most games, most content creation, you name it. Yes, it's DDR3, doesn't bloody matter. Still works. Still functional. Still means you, you can run any emulate, emulators you want. Any, any, heck, you're, you're laughing. You would be laughing at that point. Do you, now, again, these are British prices. Your prices may differ in your country. The reason why I say get a 16 series and not a 10 series is because the 16 series, um, I, I have one. It was gifted to me, full disclosure. It was gifted to me by a viewer. Thank you. Um, and it's a good card. It's a good card. I'm sadly outgrowing mine now because some of the games and the content I make eats up that six gigabytes of graphics RAM like that. I do a lot of 3D rendering. I do a lot of computer coding. I do a lot of uh, Python scripting. I do a lot. And right now, like I said, I'm, I'm in the process of, of designing my own personal assistant. You know, you've got like your Alexas, you've got your, your, your yeah, you know, you, you've got, you know, you've got your personal assistants. Well, I'm in the process of, of, of custom coding my own from scratch. Um, and it's going to be sitting on this laptop. And... It's going to be hooked up to Wi-Fi, uh, wireless uh, cameras and everything else. And what, so if it sees me walk into a room, it can turn on the lights. If it sees me leave the room, it can turn off the lights. Um, various other things. It's literally home automation is what I'm designing it. 100% home automation as a, as a test case project for myself. So, Other than that, this is humble beginnings. These two right here are humble beginnings. Okay? Pro, a, a base computer right there everything you need you just need a keyboard and a mouse you can pick those up but your RE's you know Facebook marketplace and then you're going to need a display okay um, again Facebook marketplace you can pick one up you know uh, you can you, you can even use a TV as long as it's got an HDMI port it doesn't matter okay it doesn't matter. You can do it, guys. Don't be. Don't think you need hundreds of thousands of dollars to do it. Okay. To get started, you don't. And that's the thing. It's just to get started. Okay. Just to get started. You don't need a hundred, hundred, hundreds of thousands of dollars to get started. You don't need to buy a pre pre built. You know, RGB this and RGB that. And rah, 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 rah. You don't. You don't need. You don't. You just don't. Okay, guys. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a like. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new, subscribe button and hit that bell notification. And uh, I will see you in the next video.